Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Leo Sun, Moon and Rising sign. This is the um, second week of June 2017 and the week begins from the 5th of June until the 11th. It is a week of the water energies, the water energies and we're going to work with the Angel Archangel Shamuel this week and Archangel Shamuel is going to heal the art chakras okay so we're dealing with our chakra in this week as we look at the week the week is going to be a wonderful week because the energy of the lovers is, is transformation is emotion and it's cleansing it's healing and we're working also with the zodiac energy of the hair as I look at your reading, there is absolutely no supported energies. But what I can say to you is that the energies that are coming out, because I haven't been seeing supportive energies for the zodiac sign, but energies that are coming out, there's more numbers in this week than anything else. The energies that are coming out, these are wonderful, wonderful, vibrant energies. And the energy of the world and water emotion, because it's the energy of the week of the lovers. So there is a lot of stuff that is happening it's not all about love it's all about business it's all about your personal space this personality of who you are it's about business it's all about cleansing okay it's all about cleansing so we need to understand ourselves in this week because there's a lot of transformation and what is so wonderful and so powerful about your week I need you to write these numbers down because it's very very important that you have these numbers for this week you can use them as chances you can use them as helpers in the week the number one is the vocal point there is so much energies of the number one there's number two there is number 22 okay there is number three there is number 33 So you have number one to repeat, number two, number 22, number three, number 33, um, number 20, and number 21. These are very important numbers for you guys, so I hope you write them down. I'm going to try to do the numbers at the first part of the reading because it depends on how, what messages are coming out um, that this should happen so this is just going to be just positive okay wonderful okay as we look at the energy vibration what is happening here what is happening here is that um, we have the ten of cups on Monday on Monday we have the ten of cups which is a vibrant wonderful and I love using these cards because <coughs> sorry I found out that these cards are so positive they bring out the true meaning of and these the ten of cups are a wonderful family situation and also for some people for the father some people are going to realize that they're going to be father and become fathers that sort of a thing your own energy vibration is here the Emperor the Emperor is here for you um, Leo so your own energy vibration is here on Monday so you're going to see a real transformation in your life whenever it comes on to your family life okay that's what is happening for you Leo so the men are going to be powerful on Monday especially with the, the sense of the family okay your resting period you're out of that resting period and now you're moving on so a lot of people a lot of men are going to find out that you're having kids you're going to um, have kids and some people are going to take the family out on vacation that sort of a thing and it's going to be wonderful so you men are going to be so alive on Monday so are the women but it's going to be a wonderful family thing and you will be happy with the situation okay I'm not in my menopause it's just hot <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. As we move on, um, we have wonderful news, the world um on Tuesday. This is so wonderful. And the energy of the world on Tuesday is such a wonderful, fantastic energy. And we have good news. The world, because the world brings an end to situation and good news. So so far there are wonderful energies. Even the energies of the Ten of Cups is always wonderful because it especially when it's upright, it's all about the family. So this energy of the world 
Israel is here and it is bringing you good news as we move on we have on um, Wednesday the Knight of Swords in the middle of the week. The Knight of Swords is always someone who is of a hair sign that is coming at you. They're coming at you with certain information and a way of, uh, you know, bash at you. But be aware that, you know, this person is just blowing his horn and it's empty. There is nothing going on there. Okay, so whatever this Knight of Swords, you're going to deal with him because he is in the center of your week this week and you're going to be dealing with this person and he's coming at you just you know let him go let him go it is somebody between the ages of 18 and 35 it could be a son it could be your son it could be a family member but it could be um uh, yeah it could be um, your son your family member somebody who is uh, in that sort of a situation but you know be aware of this because what is happening is that you're just you know let him just blow his horn because some people just need to blow their horn sometimes do not pay attention to this so ladies and gentlemen of the Leo sign whenever you focus and meet this person do not um, do not pay attention to him just let him go just let him blow his horn and that sort of a thing okay as we go forward we have the six of sword you're moving through a situation in your life and you're nearly at the end and the end is coming up because the energy of the tower is cleansing this um, situation so you're nearly at the end of that negative things that has been going on in your life you're nearly coming to the end of the negative situation that has been happening in your life and this is wonderful this is a positive thing because the energy of the tower is actually um, shedding light and breaking down and blowing up what is not supposed to be there and releasing you so you can move out and clearing your way to your future Future. and this is going to be extremely wonderful for everyone this is affecting everyone on Thursday okay so if you see things are just ending abruptly it is time for it to end do not fear because something else is coming up which is much better so for the people who did not have that uh, tower energy on Thursday but it's going to affect everyone so look out on Thursday that things are just going to happen you're going to find out the truth about certain things certain things are going to fall out of your life so that's sort of a thing and you're just going to move away from it okay on Friday which is a wonderful energy we have the eight of cups and eight of cups is uh, um, being aware that there is the ending to a situation and you're moving on and you have uh, the pain of cups so it's a double energy it's a double whammy so this has a effect on people who are young people um, 0 to 18 young people who decide to move out the house um, to go to college and that sort of a thing um, who decide to go on vacation alone that sort of a thing and the parents are thinking and you are showing that you're capable of being this person who you are and developing your own character and leaving the roof of your parents house so this sort of a thing is going to be here on Friday and it's going to be emotion both for you and your parents because you're here offering them love but yes still saying I need to leave the less <laughs> okay so you know this is going to be a wonderful time it's it's emotional it's cleansing it's an understanding that yeah it is time and you will be um, accepting and you're asking your parents for acceptance to understand that you need to move on this is for some people for some people there is a situation with your child and um, you know it's it's hard um, there's decision that has to be made and it's going to be very hard to make okay and some people love someone is bringing you love someone who is really is bringing you love so this is good on Sunday we have the nine of Pentacles uh, the nine of Pentacles and this is a wonderful energy vibration the nine of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles is brought forward um, um, through the intuition through someone who has died and left so this first someone could have left you an inheritance someone could have money is going to come to you but it's like a gift 
So, yeah, money is going to come to you, but it's like a gift for business people. This is going to be more clients coming in. Okay, for the business people, it's going to be Saturday, more clients coming in, or you're going to realize that you had a good sale in the week um, because the energy of the world and certain cleansing blocked energies were there. The nine of pentacles can also, for some people, it's going to help you to find your way. Um, for some people it's going to be someone who have died and left you an inheritance which is a gift um, the spiritual world is helping you to receive this money in whatsoever way it can be also if you had asked for investment or that sort of a thing but I'm not seeing that here it is as if the spirit world have decided to find a way if you manifest money in your life it will be coming in and you will realize that on Saturday the business people is going to be extremely powerful because it's the universe sending clients to you so that your business will um, be um, successful so this is going to be good on Sunday you have the energy of judgment which is a water energy and the energy of judgment on Sunday is just as a positive because it bring good news of financial financial it bring um, the healing of uh, your financial situation so this is good the energy of judgment brings you um, the energy of positive um, um, huge money is going to your financial situation is going to be ill for the people who have been um, um, sick or having um, a sort of a um, healing the healing is going to occur okay for um, people who are going through emotional unbalanced situation it is also going to be healed you're going to feel different on Sunday okay as I've always said I send healing energies through these videos whenever I do these videos and if you just sit listen to my voice you will feel the energy of you um, you know releasing certain aspect of yourself and you you will elevate yourself and this is why I've always asked people please send out this videos make sure everyone um, is um, capable of receiving these videos share them because by sharing them you are helping someone else to go through um, something that they have because not everyone has the money to pay psychiatrists and that sort of a thing and these energy vibration reading um, really help to support you okay so what do we have here is that we have a profound wonderful week with the energy of the world and the number 33 because I was using my cards but somehow my angels is guiding me to do something else and we have the number one energy and we have um, three times one also so it's going to be extremely positive number one is staying positive everything you're thinking about right now is coming through so be sure that you're only thinking about what you desire give any fairs to God and the angels okay so stay very positive whatsoever is happening in this week have a positive outlook three times one which you have in your reading the number there brings you the urgent message that your thoughts are materializing instantly so keep your mindset focused upon your desire give any fairs thought to heaven for transformation okay the other that you have is the num two times 20 and two times tw um, two okay um, this is very important that you write the numbers down everything is fine and you will continue and to be so keep believing especially since your feelings of hope leads to more positive outcomes the angels can bother your fate if you are willing to ask for help so ask the angels for help to help you have positive thoughts okay number 22 the angels can see the positive result of your prayers and they want you to have patience and stay optimism while the final details are being worked out in heaven this is an urgent call from the angels to keep the faith people keep the faith we also had number 21 which is um your optimism is definitely warranty the angels are working behind the scenes on your behalf right there 
every minute. You can help supporting the angel work by staying positive affirmation and being um, bringing that your dreams and realizing that your dreams are manifesting. So this is a positive, positive reading for you guys. Absolutely. You had no support, but without no support, by having no support, what was happening is that you were really, you had two times the world, two times the uh, um, judgment that sort of a thing and uh, the healing that came in at the end is so positive so I want to say to you um, Leah's have a wonderful week make sure you place positive thoughts in the universe and know that with these positive thoughts you will manifest uh, that which you need and remember whenever you are placing thoughts about other people place positive thoughts if you don't really believe that in yourself um, do not do it okay it's not like okay I'll just wish him good luck but do I really mean it if you don't mean it it's not going to happen and it's going to bounce back to you so don't do it okay um, place positive thoughts of things that you really mean and it will bounce right back to you because it is the boomerang effect in this year so when people wish other people um, bad things it bumps right back to them and they goes but I didn't do anything and that sort of a thing but you did wish somebody something bad okay so realize this and understand what is going on and I am saying to you please like share thumbs up these videos and um, please um, be kind to yourself and I'll talk to you next week <music>